New developments tonight in the cookie wars. One of the two companies being sued by Crumble says they now have evidence that they didn't steal Crumble's recipes. New specialist Ashley Moser joined us live to explain what was revealed in all this. Ashley? Well, Mike and Deanie, two voice memos that Crumble has as evidence in this case was turned over to Dirty Doe's legal team during the discovery process. Now, we haven't listened to those memos, but the founder of Dirty Doe says that these are voice recordings he actually sent to a former employee. Crumble says this is going to help their case. Dirty Doe says it's actually going to help them. Utah cookie fans. The only thing that I am focusing on is the cookie <laughs> inside of the box. Have been paying very close attention to this lawsuit. I think it's stupid. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and picking their favorites along the way. Well, now we have to try these other places, too, to really compare. We like Dirty Dough so far. We also like Crumble. So I purchased Crumble a lot more, but I got to say, Crave takes the cake or the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> in May, Crumble Cookies, which has more than 300 stores in 36 states, declared war on two smaller companies, including Dirty Dough, whose founder says this lawsuit. It's been the best thing that could have happened to us. So far, his company has spent $56,000 in legal fees, but in that time has seen a major boom in business, tripled their franchise contracts to 90 nationwide. All thanks, he says, to the exposure from the lawsuit. As for the claims his company's facing. Crumble's evidence against us actually makes us look better. Crumble claims a former Dirty Dough employee told them that Dirty Dough had confidential information, including Crumble's cookie recipes. There's these supposedly voice memos that prove that we stole documents, wherein these voice memos don't even talk about documents. They don't mention recipes. We reached out to Crumble for a response. They sent us a statement saying Crumble has taken legal action against two companies for trade dress and trademark infringement, one of which has stolen Crumble recipes and trade secrets. They are just shooting in the air. I mean, throwing mud at the wall and seeing what sticks. Crave, which is also getting sued, sent us this statement tonight saying, we find no merit to the claims made by Crumble and see this simply as an improper attempt to be, to uh, by a threatened competitor to use a lawsuit to stifle fair and free competition. Now, they also say that their sales went up when this lawsuit broke, gone up 50%. Begs the question, you know, which cookie is really winning this war? We will, of course, continue to follow this lawsuit. Yeah, it's been a, a sweet time, though, uh, gnawing on all the results, right, Ashley? Thanks. Right.